Uh, and and uh, you know what? Lightning maybe is the only thing that isn't in our forecast. The That's next right. Days. It seems like it's going to be a messy mix here, middle of the week, Eric. Yes, yeah, we head toward Wednesday. We've got one of those kitchen sinkers. We're going to see some snow, some ice, and rainfall. Winter storm watches are out across much of the area. Who's going to get the best snow out of this one? Well, that would be ski country. They're going to be pretty happy, I think, with the results of this storm across Vermont, New Hampshire, and interior parts of Massachusetts. Now, tonight, we're looking at temps that are dipping back in the 20s and 30s. Already some teens in the Berkshires. The winds are starting to calm down. A few gusts here and there, but after a very breezy day that's been bringing in the cold, it's becoming calmer outside. High pressure moves in, but only briefly. This has been the theme over the last 10 days or so. Things moving really quickly in the atmosphere. Late tonight, leading edge of clouds moves in again. Next storm system is a weaker one, but could bring us some areas of snow showers tomorrow. So tonight, Clouds moving in late after a clear start. Teens in the suburbs, low 20s in downtown Boston. And tomorrow morning looks mainly overcast. There will be some areas of snow showers around. The best chance of a dusting would be across the Berkshires, the Worcester Hills, the Monadnocks, and the Greens. Maybe some flurries around the Boston area. And a chance for some sunshine to break out as we head into the afternoon and evening. So the brighter part of the day would be toward the tail end. So don't be surprised to see some snowflakes moving around during the morning and midday hours. Temperatures will be cold to start. And we'll get in the 30s tomorrow afternoon. The nice thing is much less wind tomorrow. Generally lighter winds, 5 to about 10 miles per hour. And less clouds in the evening with our sunset at 505. High temps tomorrow about 33 to 38 degrees. So a typical early February day. Then we head into Wednesday and the storm system moves in. This one is kind of unique in that it will be one of those systems that goes from not doing much of anything to heavy snow really quickly. A thump of snow that will develop mid to late morning and by midday it should be snowing pretty heavily for most of the area. At the same time, milder air is going to be flowing in aloft. So as we head into the afternoon and the evening, that snow will change over to a mix of ice and rainfall across the area. And as it departs, we could end as a little bit of snowfall as temperatures crash yet again. So even into Thursday morning, likely some commute issues because of those falling temps and things getting icy. So this is how it looks like it'll progress. Mainly rain, Cape Cod and the islands. We'll start with a burst of snow to sleep pellets and then rainfall from Boston southward. Interior areas, this is going to be a mix of snow, some sleet, some freezing rain, perhaps even some regular rainfall. And the highest odds of just staying snow and just being that way is across New Hampshire, Vermont, and perhaps far northern Massachusetts, north of Route 2. So when it comes to totals, that front end thump of snow produces about three or four inches of snow in downtown Boston and two to four south of the city. Could get some quick coatings to a couple of inches from Plymouth down toward New Bedford and then changing to rain. Your biggest amounts are across far northern Mass, New Hampshire, and Maine, and Vermont, where we see that just snow type of situation. We don't bring in that mix of ice and rainfall. And many across the 495 corridor get four to eight, including up toward Essex County and up into Cape Ann. How's our scorecard so far? Well, if we look at the season, we've seen pretty much average snowfall all across the area. So this will put us above average for most towns for the season to date. And if you're trying to sneak in some Boston Marathon training this week, tomorrow, good day, some flurries around. Wednesday, early in the morning, okay. Thursday is going to be very slippery, especially in the morning hours because of those falling temperatures. So your biggest overall travel impact will be midday through the evening on Wednesday with that storm. We're drier but cold on Thursday and Friday night into Saturday, we should get some more light snow into the area. So a busy, busy pattern continues. It's going to be an interesting February, it looks like. Eric, thank you very much. Well, tonight's